right guys <clears throat> so today we're going to be taking a look at the newer tabletop uh, monopod stand and before i tell you why i got it i'm just going to actually set this up so basically here's the uh stand here is um the um base of it so it can stand up on and you have a little screw that you screw in the bottom i'm gonna go ahead and get that hooked up so basically you just get this uh, screw and put it through the bottom and then screw it at the base of the stand until you cannot screw it no more and then twist this little knob right here to stand it up And there you go and then after that um, you can actually twist these legs out and also at the bottom you get these um, these uh, skid reduction uh, pads so there's no sliding on the table or anything and at the top you get a like a miniature 360 rotating ball head and the little screw on the side to tighten it to tighten it in place and then also this can be extended lock that latch back in and that's pretty much it Alright guys, so I guess I could start off by telling you why I got this. Um, well, um, for one, I'm a product reviewer, so I do a lot of reviews on the table. On the table, uh, sometimes when I'm sitting, sitting at it and there are a lot of overhead shots. And, um, before I got this, I was using my tripod. And of course, that causes me to sit the tripod um, right in front of me, uh, in between my legs, at the table. And, you know, I kind of have to um, just think if this was a tripod. I have to wrap my hands around it. And the tripod is very thick. Uh, so, and of course, you have to raise it high enough to get that overhead look shot. And um, um, at first... Um, it was fine, but then it started to be uncomfortable. I just got tired of uh, throwing my hands around there just like this. So, um, um, I was always looking for something that I could do or do my reviews on without having to uh, wrap my arms around my tripod or even using my tripod. And so I started doing some searching um, on Amazon and I came across this newer tabletop lamp. Um, Cause um, I've looked at, also I wanna add that I looked at other review videos from other YouTubers. And uh, some of them have these nice, these nice overhead shots. And I was like, how are they getting these nice overhead shots? Like I want something like this. So I did a little research, some of them are using um track sliders and uh jibs and some of them were doing some diy stuff by mounting uh or rigging or mounting uh tripods or stuff or something to the ceiling and i just don't have all the equipment to do any of that or even uh the right you know my rooms are just not made for that so i was looking for something that would give me that almost overhead nice looking shot and i came across this thing um uh at first okay so far uh it worked great it still works great but since i've gotten this since it's been like six seven months i've uh gotten a better uh build up or setup i got a better setup to do overhead shots now but I thought I uh, do this do a video review on this just to let those people know out there 
about this and also because um this is very inexpensive it doesn't cost much it only costs 9.99 so um that's like really cheap and um um that's yeah so that's what you can do so i guess i should start off but I think I miss, I did it in the beginning, of the beginning of the video, but I guess I could do it again. So basically what you can do is there's a knob down here. If you loosen it up, this can go back, forward, and um, that's it. Also, if you want it to go that way, I mean, all you have to do is twist this knob and just turn it a little bit and twist it back in. And this can... Um, extend in and out uh, i'm not sure about the exact height i have to i'll add that in the video probably up here somewhere um and then um you have the little bitty miniature ball head up here that can do i believe i think it says like 30 to 90 degree turns or go all the way down up down up and that's about it so um when i first uh, got a glimpse at it or looked at it i thought wow this could be a great product then i was thinking about my camera like how much weight can this thing hold all right guys so um here is my nikon coolpix la40 camera so i'm going to um uh skip ahead and go ahead and get this mounted on the um the uh, newer tabletop stand to show you guys so i'm gonna get go ahead and get that mounted on so i will be right back All right, guys, so I have my Nikon Coolpix uh, set up. And right now, I don't have it all the way extended out, but it does hold uh, the camera up well. So that's great. Now, when you're going to, when you extend this out, when you want to extend it out further, okay, hold on a minute, let me see. Now, um, I have extended out further. Um, in some cases, depending on how far you have to slid out, you may have to kind of uh, set a book, small book or something heavy on it to keep it steady, depending on how far you have this let out um, to keep that steady. So, uh, let me turn my, I don't know, my battery's about to run out of my, or it might be already out, so I'm going to try turning this on. To show you guys what the overhead might look like. Sometimes you can see that very well. This is on my Nikon Clipex LA40. So um, basically, yeah, that's what the overhead looks like. So um, it this is a cheap alternative to someone who can afford anything more expensive. And, um, and I would definitely recommend this. And also, guys, I wanted to add that um, if you're doing overhead shots, depending on if you're sitting up or stand, if you're standing up or sitting down, if you're standing up, then you should have no problem with this issue. But if you're sitting down and you like to rest your uh, um, your arms on the table, and depending on what kind of table you got, uh, you may see some wiggling in your video, so um, if you like to rest your arm on the table, it's going to do a little bit of uh, moving and wiggling if you're sitting down and rest, uh, rest your arms on the table, so be aware of that. 